Hey, Brian here with another video, and um, this is my second day of actually doing another video, you know, because I've taken off a while, and I've just been kind of, you know, vegging out, not really doing anything, and so I decided to get in front of the camera, and I kind of want to do this more, and I want to get <coughs> more, um, I want to make more videos and address certain topics each step by step because I think there's a def there's a definitely a process to workplace mobbing, community gang stalking, and the psychological effects. There's so many things that go into this um, that I think these topics should be broken down in in different in different videos. So I'm I, I need to really organize my thoughts and figure out what's going to go on which video. And so, I mean, this is a little project that I have for myself. I've got to keep myself busy. Okay, but when I do start thinking about processes, um, I always ask myself who, what, when, why, where, and how. And these particular words are help me uh, formulate the whole issue to where I'm feeling I'm covering all the bases. You know, I'm not leaving anything out. Or at least it helps me... Um, tries to help me, rem I, it, it jogs my memory so that I am more uh, clear or I'm making sure that everything's covered, all my bases are covered, Every, all the information I want to provide, I can actually do that. <clears throat> anyway, when I think of who, uh, we're talking about targeted individuals, and targeted individuals such as myself, some of us have different backgrounds, but we're pretty much going through the same thing. Uh, we're having problems with our employment. We have problems with our living environments. We have problems with people in the community, whether we know them personally or not. Why? Because there's just information that's pretty much, uh, what do you call it, speculative, rumors, and things of this nature, and they get, like, <laughs> out of control, and people start treating you according to what they think or who you are. And it's all because of gossip, and it starts with gossip. Uh, but in my case, I have been domestically stalked for many years, okay? I'm just starting to come to that realization. I'm looking back, and I'm uh, thinking of all the situations that I've been in, and none of it has been a coincidence, not one bit of it, okay? When you're a targeted individual, nothing is a coincidence, but I'm thinking about things that have gone on for years. I mean, this has been going on for years for years, and I'm finally figuring it out, and I'm starting to see the end result because it got to the boiling, got to boiling point. Um, uh, my siblings have been sabotaging my work for years, and I'm just now coming to that realization, but we'll get into that later. Okay, so who else? Those who are whistleblowers. Um, now, in my case, I wouldn't call myself a whistleblower. I'm not a whistleblower because I didn't blow any whistles. I, I had an issue happen, but um, I didn't make a big issue. I just simply left and wanted to go find another job and get off my life. But for some people who are targeted individuals, their targeting didn't start with their family. It started at a, like an issue at work. Um, maybe they had a disagreement or something and things got out of control and somebody tried to retaliate against this person. Okay, it's not enough to just fire this person, but we are going to make it so that you can't find another job anywhere else ever again. Or we're going to find you jobs that are lower than what you were actually worth. Okay. This is the sort of thing that happens to a lot of whistleblowers. And when you think about it, whistleblowers, and I'm not a whistleblower because I kept everything quiet, but when you think about whistleblowers, when people want to retaliate against somebody who is doing the right thing, if they were doing the right thing in a respectful way, like they were following protocol, let's just say, for example, they exposed, uh, I don't know, some safety hazard or something, and they went to management and they kept telling, hey, you know, if you don't fix this pole, everything's going to fall. It's going to kill a bunch of people. This is an example. It's going to kill a bunch of people. And the people higher up ignored it. And they, you know, did everything they could internally to fix the problem. And then something, uh, you know, it, something oh, terrible happens. Or there's a risk of even more things happening. And somebody goes and says something about it because it's gotten to the point where nobody is taking it. Uh, 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 um, it seriously, w this person was trying to do something good, okay? Now, I'm not saying that all whistleblowers are, are um, good, or they you know, I'm not sure. I mean, some people were doing crooked stuff to begin with, okay? But there's nothing that, nothing warrants this sort of behavior. Nothing does, okay? Unless, of course, there's some sort of weird 
person behind it, and it's a stalking issue. This what's going on with me is a stalking issue. And with these people who are whistleblowers, they're being stalked by people who um, didn't start from their families, but it kind of started off as a work issue. Okay, either way, it's all wrong, it's unethical, it's illegal, okay? All wrong. Anyway, uh, another t person who could be a targeted individual is anybody who doesn't fit in. That could be based on your race, religion, or whatever. Or it could just be, you're, you could be white as snow, but you could be kind of nerdy, okay? Now, a lot of people who are nerdy, uh, people don't like them, okay? Uh, the fact that they're, 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 uh, their ankles show when they sit down or, or they're just, you know, they wear suspenders or whatever. Whatever weird little quirky things that dirty people do, people tend to treat them differently. Okay? They just do. Okay? So these people become target individuals. They're points of intrigue for a lot of people and they start to pry and invade people's space more than they should. Okay? They invade people's privacy. They invade their lives. They do things without regard to a person's, uh, individual's right an individual person's rights, um, and they sabotage their life, okay? We are these people. They are directing their energy, their focus, their anger, their hatred, all their problems onto the scapegoat from the family onto me. I'm, the, I'm supposed to absorb all their misery, okay? Well, I'm so sorry. I don't owe anybody duly squat, okay? This has been going on for years, and I'm going to tell you what. Target individuals, I am starting to think, even back in the school days, in the schoolyard, this was going on, okay? Now, when tar I hear the other targeted individuals talking about, I, I believe I was a targeted since a child. Now, some of these key people are convinced that the government's after them, or they've done something like, um, for some reason, they're like, you know, points of intrigue or attraction to, you know, maybe scientists or world leaders or somebody, because some people really believe that, because the... It's so intense. The targeting can be so intense that you think that this is something coming from, like, a higher level place, okay? No, it's not. It's just an orchestrated bunch of people. Uh, but it's disturbing, nonetheless. And regardless, it's unjustified and it's illegal. And, and it's horrifying. It's absolutely horrifying. Anyway, I lost my train of thought there. Okay, so what starts off, it starts off at the workplace often, oftentimes, and it escalates to the community. In my case, this was a domestic issue, and I don't know if it, it was started off in the community and then drifted into work, or however that a whole thing happened, I know it's BS, okay? But in my case, people should have recognized it as stalking, and it is stalking. It is not something that I want. I am not happy. I'm not pleased with this. This has invaded my entire life. Okay, these people, gang stalking destroys every aspect of your life. If you have any friends, they'll make sure that they'll go away from you. If you try to make friends, they'll destroy that relationship. Okay, in the process, I was trying to get to know my, my mother's side of the family. And these people were used to um, basically start ignoring me or whatever. And, and, and you know, that to me is low. Okay, I, it is so low. And nothing is sacred to get people who gang stop. There's nothing sacred, okay? Precious memories that I've had are destroyed forever because of this. Because, you know, just this stupid, foolish competition that's going on between, you know, sibling number one and sibling number two, and I'm not sure if the male member of my sibling, those siblings is just kind of standing back on the sidelines letting this happen or he's participating in it. Too. I, I don't know. I don't know. Okay? It's not your right. I haven't seen some of you guys. I haven't seen my brother uh, that often since my father passed away, okay? I don't know him as an adult, okay? Same thing goes for my oldest sister. I don't know these people. As an adult, I am my own woman. We have lived apart for years. And for them, you know, you're thinking that it's for, to think that these people, after all these years, okay, so the distance that we have, now it's not the major distance, but it's a distance enough you know, you have your own life. Leave me alone. What the hell? I mean, if you want to follow up with me, you ask me questions and I'll tell you stuff. You don't spy on me. You don't have people. That's weird. Okay? It's very weird. And just because I don't live like you, I, I don't know how I don't. I come home. I work. I come home. I, 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 I spend my time with pretty people I care about. And, and I don't have a bunch of fake and funny friends. And I don't need stupid affiliations with crooked religious people to, to make, uh, formulate a life. You know, and I'm not criticizing religion, okay? But don't bring this crap into the workplace. Don't bring it to the workplace. Just don't. I'm getting off subject, you know? And that's my biggest problem. In this topic, 
it has to be methodical in order. It has to make sense. It cannot, under any circumstances, be all over the place. So I need to really formulate my thoughts and really make constructive videos. Consider this a rant, okay? But anyway. Um, let's see here. I think most people participate, why I would say that most people participate for reasons to identify with group activity. And, 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 and oftentimes when people come together, you know, um, they come together for selfish reasons, okay? They just do. Okay? They want to be a part. They want to be accepted. And sometimes they do things that are immoral or hurts another person to get ahead. It, this happens all the time, okay? It's, I guess it's what makes the world go round, okay? It's evil, okay? It's this very thing that you're, the, the people who are accusing me and who are harping down my throat to get Jesus into my life are, are ignoring the very principles of their religion. Okay, that's a problem here. Okay, and I'm paying the price for it. And these people are, are involved in a network that has special privileges, obviously. Okay? Whatever. Getting off the subject again, Okay, but yeah, I think that the, another reason why is that uh, I, my family or my siblings must have me in, enrolled in some sort of lifelong competition that I have no interest in being in. Okay, I, I don't care what you guys do. And that's not to say that, you know, when I, before I was dumb enough and didn't catch on to this, that, um, that I uh, didn't care. It's just that, you know, I live in my own space and I figure you have your own lives and I don't uh, intrude and I just kind of keep my space and I try to count my problems to myself or whatever. Um, I, I just, invading my life space is just not, cool. and then to take the liberty of like making decisions for me, you know, if you thought that I was mentally off or retarded or something or lower than you or some lower life form or whatever, you know, uh, you handle that in the family, okay? To go and create problems like you've created, it's almost like you were trying to make a person who is trying to lift themselves up and destroy their lives, okay? I want you to take a look at this whole situation, and either way, you, I don't care how you slice it, you guys are sick. You're fucking sick. Plain and simple. I'm done, okay? Yes, I'm changing my last name, okay? And this time, and I am changing my last name. I'm very grateful to get rid of this last name, okay? You know why? Because I cannot believe that I'm from the same filth. I really can't. I'm having a hard time accepting that. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. Um, this is happening everywhere. So when I, when I think of, you know myself. I mean, I have to think about other people, okay? I'm not selfish. I mean, yeah, this is a very terrifying situation to be in. And I would say, and compare it to like a, a Holocaust, because millions of people are going through this, okay? There's, been, there's so many videos out there, so many articles talking about it. There's people who are gathering statistics about this issue, this very issue, okay, that's killing people, okay, in their own roundabout secret way. It's dangerous. Okay, it's dangerous, it's wrong, and many people are participating in it and not realizing it. And it needs to stop. It needs to stop. It is, it's not a funny game. It doesn't benefit anybody. Find some other way to bond friendships or, or um, build camaraderie, okay? Stop using other people to get ahead in life. That's not what you need to do, especially as somebody who's claimed to be a Christian. Don't go there, okay? Don't. Okay, um, I do need assistance. I mean, I, I want to be more um, involved in this, um, in this, this, this whole situation. I mean, I don't know how I would get assistance if I wanted to be a part, like, of a campaign or something. And, you know, it's not that I don't, you know, I've had my issues with voting. I have a lot of concerns when it comes to that. But there's certain things that need to be under control. I mean, there's just certain things that need to be, um, respected. I mean, that's just a daily life. That's what we were taught manners when we were kids. Because if you treat somebody poorly, eventually they're going to come back and they're going to smack, they're going to smack you. 
You know? You gotta pay the consequence for that. So it's just really important to um understand that this is a human behavior issue that uh has gotten way out of control and we live in a society that I believe is um when I say society I'm saying this isn't something that this is global, okay, obviously, but that um really doesn't understand what they say that they know and they act out their um any task any task that that somebody says that for them to do they don't question and they move forward that's how people are okay and there's reasons why you know there's more followers than there are leaders in this world there there's reasons why and you know but you have to make sure that the people who are followers are being fed positive things. They can't be being filled, fed filth. They can't because people are going to act on every single thing, somebody that they look up to in, in one form or another. In this case, if somebody thought that somebody had authority over me, whether that be my family member, uh, my sibling, that's so bizarre, okay, but whatever. Um, still, I am over the age of 18 years old. I mean, you know, it's like question stuff. It, it seems odd. Don't you get those posters sitting on your walls? Don't you know what those mean? You know, um, very strange. And the very fact that it's always so hush-hush, why is it that I can't know that you're talking to my family member? Because something deviant is going on. Something wrong is going on. And if it's going to be kept away from a person uh, that, you're, that you're working with, it's not good. It's not good. Now, I understand sometimes, you know, managers have to talk, they have to decide about a certain employee or whatever. Okay, two managers from the same company or whatever are going to sit in there to talk about that employee, okay? Your family member has no business in your personal file. I don't care, even if it's a husband and wife. Unless, of course, there's some sort of written document giving that person consent. You don't do that. You just don't. No information goes out and no information goes in. That is the, the basis of confidentiality that a company has to uphold in order to gain any sort of respect or even identify with the word integrity. Gosh, you know, I, I'm just, I'm just amazed. I'm amazed. Um, so we need to in, inform employers, neighbors, law enforcement through various tools of learning and information. Employers need to value confidentiality. They need to know that no information is to be given to anyone at any time for any reason. Unless there's specific, you know, authorization to do so. You know, you can't have a family member choosing your job your whole life. You know, I'm going to paint this person's meaning in life. Who does that? Somebody who is warped. That's warped. You know, that's why there's laws. It's against people's personal rights to have freedom to do what they want to do. We look at certain countries where, like, you know, maybe somebody's, occupation is assigned to them from childhood. I remember hearing some story about that in Russia when I was in, eight, in like eighth grade or something. And I kept thinking, huh, you know, it would be weird if somebody chooses your, choose your occupation like, you know, as a teenager or any point in your life and you're just supposed to go and do that, like, you know, throw your heart and soul into it, like your concentration, your enthusiasm, your whatever into this and it's like it's just random. You know, go do this, and, and so you're just going to do that. You know, I remember going to a, a particular um, guru's seminar or meeting or whatever, um, and she was talking about how, you know, when you, you're, you start sensing that your employee doesn't have that enthusiasm, there's no point in hanging on to them. Exactly. Exactly. You don't pick somebody who's not into that job. You just don't. You know, it's a waste of money. You know, because believe me, they will eventually show it. Okay, now I'm the kind of person, you know, I enjoy my work. I like accounting work. I enjoy it. Okay, but still, you don't choose their job. You just don't. Unless, of course, dehumanization takes place. And when you come from a family that scapegoats, they dehumanize you. That's their very, very existence is for them to do just exactly that. Okay? So they had no respect for me, so they wanted everyone else to do that. Okay? And then, of course, I, they're my blood relatives, right? So therefore, you follow through and you do so. Because I'm going to tell you what. These people who disrespected me, they don't know me. They don't know me enough. 
They don't have any any basis to do to you know they don't have anything to go on. They really don't. Very limited, okay? Very, very limited. So they paint the information. It's just it's horrible. It is horrible. I shouldn't be based uh my, my life shouldn't be based on things that I did when I was twenty years old. And if it was really a point of your concern, you know what, you could have talked to me about it. You don't throw this crap out for the public sector so people could just nip and pick you apart. I, I really don't even know what your trip is. This has been going on for like longer. This is like what, nineteen maybe nineteen ninety seven, ninety eight? I mean uh, that's even in my adult years, okay? Because 'Cause I'm going back to my teenage years and I can remember things. Okay, this has been going on for a long time. Okay? Nothing's wrong with me. I you know, I would say I was a, a kooky kid when I was younger. A little goofball, okay. But you know, people yeah to trip out on my race and I think I was pretty much beyond my years when I was younger. I mean, I know a lot of people would say things to me and I would say things back and they always looked at me like I was being some precocious little brat. Like I was just being okay, and I'm gonna say some of the things that came out of my my, my mouth seemed a little weird, but when I think about it, not really, because a lot of the things I used to talk about actually came to be. And what I mean by that is is like you know, just the way world view, things that I would talk about when I was younger, on the playground or whatever, and people were like, eh, I need to No, I, I, I was a futuristic thinking thinker even back then. Okay? There's nothing wrong with me. I'm just different. You know, which you constantly have to remind me of. You know, I'm not ashamed to be different than you. Okay? <laughs> you just couldn't, you couldn't pay me to do that. Alright? So, anyway... Anyway, I'm getting off the subject, and I'm running out of time, so I'm going to wrap this video up. Um, but I do think that we need to inform em employers, we need to talk to the labor um, neighbors, you know, maybe create flyers um, talking about the importance of keeping family information confidential. You know, re talking about, you know, giving out people's phone numbers, you know, if they, you know, uh, whether it be phone numbers, you know, when it time people go to work, or just general information, or just family business, period. You know, you don't talk about family issues to other people. It's, it's because it, it literally throws you to the dogs, okay? And you have no ma way of defending yourself. You know, I, I don't even know what this is really about. Unless, like I said, it must have started off years ago. Years ago. Crazy. But anyway, if people are more aware of, like, the dangers of throwing... Think of it as the dangers of throwing a family member out to... I don't know, like the walking dead or something. It is very much like putting that person's life in jeopardy. Okay? Because you're starting to attract attention to, to people who don't necessarily have your best interest at heart. So everybody who I came into, you know, for job interviews, and they were just wasting my time and thinking it was funny that I'm getting more and more broke and I'm getting more and more, you know, upset and I'm getting punished for something that I didn't even do. Okay? That is no different than me encountering somebody who has a cross burning in front of my front yard. I don't see it as any different at all. It's a form of harassment nonetheless. Okay? Don't appreciate it. Didn't ask for it. I did everything I could to keep this quiet. Okay? So I, why am I constantly paying the price for something I didn't do? This is going on for years. Okay? And, you know, for this, you keep following me from each and every workplace. You know, these this weird behavior that people start be exhibiting and stuff like that, it is draining and it's a result of stalking. It is illegal. And it has taken the longest time for the people within this circle that I that I didn't ever want to be associated with, but somehow or another I'm a part of their circle in a weird roundabout little way because they know who I am and they're making efforts to try to block my existence. Um, yeah, these people... Uh, they have they they don't respond to the law. They don't acknowledge the law. It has no value to them. That's scary. Okay? I had no idea. I, I seriously just thought that every issue was separate. Completely isolated. But now I'm starting to think about things that were said, little things that were done, you know, and now I'm thinking, Oh God, this is a very long long issue. One that I didn't deserve. I don't care what you think of me. I don't care if you thought I was goofy as a kid. You don't mess up my life. And if you really cared about your my, my son, you could have at least cared about my son. You could have at least allowed me to give my son a decent life. 
Okay, you made sure that never happened. You don't care about anyone but yourself. You're sick. Sick. And then bringing God into it, even more sick. Get the fuck away from me. And stay the fuck away. Okay. Okay, so anyway, um, yeah, law enforcement should know that just because a, a, a person is a family member, that doesn't mean they can't be a stalker. A lot of times, you know, ex, ex spouses stalk other people, ex boyfriends stalk people, and family members stalk other people. Okay, and this is no different. This is no different. Okay, it's creeping me out. I've made several, and it's affected the behavior of other people. Okay. It's affected my life. It's a, it's prevented me from, you know, getting gainful employment. I mean, you know, employment. It's, it's affected my life, and not just in the in the area that it took place in. I have gone to other places, and this same thing has been going on. Okay, nobody has the right to know me on that level. They just don't. They don't. You invaded my privacy. I mean, complete and total dehumanization. Anyway, I'm running out of time. I've got 57 seconds left in this video. Anyway, I need help in my campaign, and I need it needs to start here in California. I don't know if you if you're here in California, you want to help out, you want to put me in the right direction. I greatly love I'd love to hear from you. I'll talk to you later. Bye bye.